I recently did a media buy test with StumbleUpon using their advertising platform. And uh, I want to share with you what worked and what didn't work for me and maybe give you some ideas for how you can take advantage of this unbelievably cheap traffic platform. So uh, I'll just start off. This is the dashboard. What's cool about StumbleUpon, if you don't know StumbleUpon as a website, you should check it out. Um, essentially, it's like a toolbar that you run that allows you to stumble upon <laughs> random sites that you uh, might like. And as you tell it what you like, it gets better at showing you things that it thinks you might like. And uh, uh, it's all done through categories and targeting and, and you know, uh, whatever software they're running to kind of keep track of this stuff. But it allows you to put your product into a certain category range and you're going to get an audience that likes that category of, of, of information. Now, uh, in advance, I'll tell you that you can't put a sales letter up here. You can't really put a, a you know a, a buy page or a an opt in page or something like that. What you need to do is you need to promote uh, some feeder content, so like an article or a blog post or a video on YouTube or something that you've created that uh, is maybe educational or entertaining or something like that. So in this case, uh, I put up a how to meditate article for a meditation product that I sell. And what's cool here is that. Uh, I paid for 2,133 uh, visits at five cents a visit, but I also got 222 uh, free visits from StumbleUpon. So essentially what happens is as people use the StumbleUpon system and they rate your feeder content as good, other people then will naturally come across it in the system, not as an ad, but as an actual stumble. Uh, and so what happens is they have an, an effective cost per view and you can see my effective cost per view here is actually $4.53 because they've, they've essentially calculated in the free traffic uh, as paid and, uh, and, and calculated my actual rate against what I'm, uh, how much money I've given them. So this is a campaign that I paused because I, I actually had a subscription box at the bottom of all of this uh, stuff. And uh, out of 2,133 visitors, I got a grand total of four subscribers to my mailing list. So um, I paused this because wasn't really what I was after. It wasn't really the, the type of traffic that I was that I was after. And so uh, what I ended up switching to, let me just go to my active panel here because that was one of my archived ads. What I ended up switching to is, is my blog, which is something that I'm trying to promote more and I'm trying to get more people uh, familiar with with me and and you know my search engine expertise and some of the other things that I um, you know that I think I know a whole lot about and um, so I, I placed three different blog posts that are in the search engine optimization category uh, in the SEO category of stumble upon now the numbers here aren't as high or as as, as good as the uh, as the uh, meditation, you can see this was day one when I launched the meditation product. Uh, and then uh, when I found out that didn't work, I put in my own blog. Now, being in the SEO category, I'm not getting as many uh, hits. It's not SEO is not as glamorous a category as yoga meditation uh, in terms of, of volume, which is actually good for me because I don't want to I don't want to spend thousands of dollars a day on feeding my blog with traffic. This is more of an experiment just to see how five cent traffic is going to work for me. And what I found is that people are tweeting things and they're opting into my mailing lists through my products that I give away and through other things. So um, this has worked out and I'm going to continue doing this. And so what I want to do is just give you a quick uh, overview of how to submit uh, to StumbleUpon. And I'm going to do something in a category that I haven't done yet. This is one of my personal development posts on my blog or self-development posts. Uh, so I'm just going to put in the URL here and click create a campaign. Okay, so what I need to do at this point is choose a category. And the first thing it shows you is the popular category. Uh, I suggest drilling down and finding something uh, as closely matched to your topic as possible. Um, in my case, this is a post about um, disconnecting yourself from the news. And I don't really think they have a whole lot of categories that would match my needs outside of self-improvement. So I'm going to use self-improvement as a category, and this is an experiment for me. I have not done this yet, so um, we'll see what kind of we'll see if they approve it, and we'll see what kind of um, of return I get. So uh, you can see it's uh, it's now gone into the pending review section, uh, and I find that uh, usually on a weekday, if you submit this thing, uh, you'll you'll get a um, 
uh, response back within about three hours maximum. So they're pretty quick. But uh, I will, uh, I'll let you know how this goes. But if you decide to do a stumble upon traffic buy, I'd love to hear how it works for you. Uh, so please put a comment below.